Obviously, I'm Max from Hardwater Freaks. I know what you're thinking. No shit, Sherlock. But nonetheless, we have a review uh, from one of our big event sponsors. It was last year that they came on board as one of our event sponsors. And I really don't use much of their gear. Uh, never really been big into snowmobiling. Uh, that kind of gives away who it was if you were at last year's event. So nonetheless, Castle X, they've come out with some new products and they said, Hey Max, we just want to know what you think. You don't have to wear it. You don't have to give us any feedback, uh, good or bad. You don't have to do photography, videography. You don't have to nothing. We just want to know what you think. So I said, I'll do it as long as you agree to me keeping it super real, super realistic, and super honest. And they said, yeah, go ahead. So without further ado, unlike every other video that you see out on YouTube and all that, Let's keep it super real. So first, we'll crack a beer. Spotted cow, Wisconsin zone. Secondly, something you're never gonna see another YouTuber or anything do. Here's a striker suit. I love that suit. Here's the bibs for that striker trekker suit. Love those bibs. See where I'm going with this? Here's an Eskimo suit. Absolutely love that suit. Favorite suit of all time, Eskimo. Right there. Here's the bibs. Now that's out of the way, and you know that I'm not bought and paid for after saying, I love those suits. Let's check out Castle X's suit. So it's in this box. Here's a dull razor blade. We'll go super gentle over the top because I don't know how they package this. I don't even really know what's in here. They just said, what's your sizes? And we'll send one for you and Roman to try out. And you can just let us know what you think. So, in this box, <laughs> some paperwork, here's the black one, here's the one that I will, here's another piece of the black one, and here is the other piece of this brown one. I don't know the name of the brown that they use, I, I honestly, um, Wood. This is called wood. So, right off the bat, I will say that is a pretty cool color. The suit itself has a great sheen to it. CX Ice Series on the sleeve, CX Ice Series Castle X on the back. If you guys know anything about snowmobiling, you know that Castle X is like a premier brand. They make some of the best stuff out there. I don't snowmobile. I just know from everybody that I know snowmobile says Castle X is one of the kingpins. Here's the front of this suit. Right off the bat, they have an awesome hood. First things first. And I'm going to compare it right back to Eskimo. Same style hood where it curves out in the front. On a, it curves out flat like this. So if you're wearing a hat or you're trying to protect from snow and slush. So you guys nailed that Castle X. That's perfect. Absolutely love that. I'll just move these out of the way. Absolutely love that you guys did that. Secondly, built-in face shield with the face cuff. Great idea. It's actually pretty firm in here. Super firm, actually. All right. Hideaway face shield covers right here. Hideaway face shield covers. They actually hide away back inside. So when you're not using them, they're not like flapping all over the place. That's super, super, super nice. But um, buttons, magnetic buttons down the front. I know a lot of guys that get worried about, is the zipper nice? It's actually a pretty nice zipper. It's not one of those floppy cheap ones. It's actually a pretty firm zipper, um, comparable to Eskimo zipper, except uh, they use a little bit bigger teeth, kind of like what Stryker uses. They use the bigger teeth style instead of the smaller teeth style. Pocket on the inside breast. And then we have pull ties on the sides. But pocket on the inside breast right here. Other side, another pocket. That's huge to me, having both of those pockets. That's huge. I like to have one on each side because then I can put like a face shield on this side, hammer over to that side. Great breathability material on the back. Made in Vietnam for all you guys that are wondering. 
Right here it says Castle X, West Shore Jacket, Wood Men's Large. This is the West Shore. Cuffs in the front. So it does have the finger holes. For those of you guys that like the finger holes, those are super nice, especially if you ride machines. Uh, Velcro around the sides. They actually went with a bigger hole. You know, some companies that go with a lot smaller hole, they went with the bigger hole. Sweet, this is awesome. They did zippers on the pockets, on the sides of the front pockets. Velcro on the front, but zippers on the sides of the front pockets. That's huge, because I can't stand when those are not zipperized. Air pockets right here underneath the armpits. That's also a good feature for if you're on the move. I do like that. I already did tell you guys, they do have the pull strings on the bottom. And let's see, the pull strings are on both sides. So you guys, Castle X, I don't know if you're ever gonna watch this, but you guys nailed it on this jacket. I can't say it's the best jacket I've ever used because I've never worn it yet, but it's actually pretty nice. All the features are there. They also have a shoulder pocket right here. That would be located right here. So really like that. I would give them an A plus on this. Removable hood right here with a zipper. Removable hood, I don't ever do that, but for those of you that like to do that, I guess that's kind of cool too. Let's check out the bibs. Cheers. All right. All right so right off the bat, they are heavier. Uh, I would say directly comparable to a Striker Hardwater or a Eskimo Keeper series. You can definitely feel that they have some weight. The jacket's definitely a good mid-weight based off of its weight. First things I've noticed, they went with really nice shoulder straps. Um, a lot of you guys know that the shoulder straps that some of these companies use, they are just absolutely garbage. I do like Eskimos and I do like Strikers. Um, I can't really speak too much on my clam suit back in the day. It worked, I, it was just super puffy. Um, can't really speak on the straps on the clam suit, but they did use a, a much nicer strap. This is heavy duty. Like this isn't your, you know, stringy nasty stuff. Super heavy duty. Next up, they went with a stretchy butt piece for sitting down. Mind you, I didn't read anything about these suits because I wanted to keep it super realistic. Something I did miss real quick. They have reflectors all over all the suits. So that is huge for night fishing in my opinion. So, stretchy butt, stretchy waist. Go over to the front. They got the D-loops on the front. Let's see here. It's like a, it's like a hardened rubber uh, or a super soft plastic, but they're flexible. Waterproof zipper in the front breast right here. Can, can get your hand inside of it. A little snug, but your hand can go in. Um, let's check the zipper. Instead of uh, magnetic, they went with Velcro, and then I went with a big tooth zipper again. For those of you guys that don't know, sometimes the smaller zippers, like what Eskimo has on their bibs, um, but on their jacket, they have the big teeth bibs uh, zippers. Sometimes those smaller zippers get iced up really easy and then they fall apart. Um, Castle X went with all big zippers. The ones on the Eskimos never had an issue with them because they are hidden from the elements. But the companies that do use those on their jacket and they use them on their bibs, you do have issues with those. Castle X went with the big zippers on the front of the bibs and the jacket so far. So, really like that feature. They have side pockets right here. Huge, so look at that. That's mid forearm. Huge side pockets. Those will be located right here. Again, right there, same thing. Big, big, big side pockets. The front pockets are plenty big and they have a waterproofing on the inside of them. So you're not gonna get water in there. You can feel it on the inside. See it right here, uh, a waterproofing material. So it's not just like a fabric pocket. Let's go down to the legs. Reflectives on the back. Buttons on the bottom. Oh, that's a nice zipper. Look at that. So smaller zipper here, but weatherproof zipper. So. 
It's got the rubber coating all around the zipper, which is which is also a really, really good feature. I do really like that. They also have the boot liners built in, which you can find traditional in most ice suits now. It is elastic, so you can make sure that you have the adjustability. And they did go with an adjustable leg, just like you'll see on some of the other ice suits. Um, all you gotta do is remove this Velcro right here, like that, move it up to one of these other strips of Velcro, and then you can lengthen or shorten your leg. So that's that. I don't see any more features that I need to show you guys. That's the bibs. Let's see here. Where's the jacket? Here's the jacket. So Castle X, I'll give you guys an A plus for appearance and quality. Uh, right off the bat, I mean, I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed. I'm not going to sit here and be like, it's the best. Again, my favorite suit of all time, and I've worn Clam, Frabel, um, Striker, and Eskimo. Eskimo of all those is my favorite overall. Have absolutely no complaints with their suits whatsoever. Um, but Castle X, I will say this, you guys definitely nailed it. Small details like the zipper pulls, the weatherproof. Uh, weatherproofing on some of your zippers, the magnetic capability, and the fact that you waterproofed your pockets. Those are huge. That's gonna be huge for a lot of people. Um, and everything seems to look 100% adjustable. Now, I do have another color here. It's their black suit. It's just all black, exact same thing. Uh, that one's gonna be for my buddy Roman. And I'm gonna give you guys a video of Roman's opinion on that as soon as I get that from him. So, Castle X. This is the West Shore suit. This is the color wood. Um, pretty cool. I'm glad they picked a different tint than some of the other companies are trying to use something like this. This suit looks cool. Uh, Quality-wise, A+. Plus. Um, I haven't worn it, so I'm not going to tell you to tell you it's the best, but A+, plus on the quality, A+, plus on manufacturing, A+, plus on appearance. Thanks, Castle X, and thanks to all you guys for watching this. Check out Castle X. Cheers.